An aortic aneurysm is a ballooning out of the aorta. And the aorta is the main artery in the body that starts at the heart and it goes all the way down the body out into the legs and it gives all the branches for all of the organs that we have. You can get a ballooning out of, of section of the aorta uh, like sort of a water balloon and if it gets big enough it can burst, it can pop and it can rupture and you can die from a ruptured aneurysm. Smoking is number one, family history is number two. If you have a first degree relative, a parent or a sibling that's had one, uh, you're at higher risk. The other thing that puts you at high risk is being uh, over 65 and being a Caucasian male. Just an ultrasound, just like pregnant women get an ultrasound. Uh, looking for a dilatation or a ballooning out of the aorta is, is what is the best way to diagnose it. The challenge with diagnosing an aneurysm is that they're usually silent until they cause a problem. We've now developed ways to treat aneurysms from the inside with the minimally invasive endovascular approach with stents where we basically do punctures in the groin and we go up and we put a sleeve inside the aorta that seals the aneurysm above and below and excludes the aneurysm from the inside. We now have a way with fenestrated endografts to treat these aneurysms with an endovascular approach with stents. And we put a, a sleeve inside the aorta and we make holes for the branches off of the aorta. So you have a hole, let's say, for each renal artery and you line those holes up and then through those holes you put another branch. So fenestration means hole, like fenestral window, and then the branch is the branch stent that goes into the branch off of the aorta. We can do it with the Magellan endovascular robot. And what it does is it decreases everything compared to open surgery about tenfold. So it's a one or two day stay in the hospital. Instead of 10 to 15% mortality, the mortality is about 1 to 1.5%. The morbidity is also reduced tenfold. Uh, better patient outcomes through an endovascular approach, quicker recovery.